Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial and uh, today I'll show you this type of logo which is really good for the photography and unique and I'll show you how to make this one and uh, this one is not complex uh, that is the totally easy process how to make this one. So let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. So going to the file at first. Uh, from here going to the new options taking 2000 pixel 2000 pixel and uh, the color mode is rgb because of i want to publish this one into the web that's why i'm using 2000, 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel and hit the create button we're getting an artboard which is a blank and now uh, this shape we have to make this out and then we'll do other stuffs so at first going to the ellipse tool and making this one round like that so like this okay and turning off the fill color taking the stroke like uh, 35 that's good and making the stroke align into the middle so 50 is good for me okay that's fine and then again going to the round rectangle and making or drawing another round rectangle like this so that's good and this thing I'll make copy by pressing alter option button and making this one and making into the fill color and after that I'm just dividing 1.6 actually you have to make this one into link up and then divided by 1.6 and again divided by 1.6 and again three times divided by 1.6 six so 1.6 is the golden ratio portion or golden ratio uh, like value so placing over there that's good from here i'll cut it out this this and all the other points so how to do that here is uh, uh, tools which is the scissor tool and i'll make cut it out uh, one thing is that if I make this one normal rectangle like this, it will be helpful to me for cut it out. So selecting all the stuffs and going to the scissor tool from here, cutting it out here and into the middle. Okay, that's good. And easily I could select those things and delete So this one and this one. And then I can make this one into like a round like that. So I'm making this one a little bit smaller like this okay and making those thickness uh, up suppose like this that's good and now I'm selecting these two circle and the, and the cutting rectangle going to the object and going to the expand options making this one into fill and stroke and making it okay now this one is no longer the uh, stroke um, uh, that is fill color or fill things and press A from the keyboard that is the direct selection tool making this one like this and like making this one like this okay and this two point I'm making this one round like that so the logo is almost done and now time to giving this uh, that is the good and photography so good is the october font i'm taking this one t and here good writing this one good and making it bigger that's fine and the font style that is the october and writing over here bigger g and like this okay if i want i could uh, give this one bigger so how to do that going to direct selection from here and making this one into the okay that's fine and then photography i'll write down here the photography that things so writing into like normal font like poppins so poppins regular or medium writing selecting all the stuffs 
and making this one into the all caps making the font size uh, down so like this if I place over here and more smaller it could be like this and photography should be like this okay that's good and now I'll make uh, these things we should uh, check the spelling okay photography okay that's good okay that's nice and now right press and create outline when i'm making this one create outline that is now uh, not into the font uh, options that is now the fill options and create outline that's fine and selecting all the stuffs making it group and making into the middle of the artboard that's good and now uh, will give color or provide color so at first ungrouping this one making this color uh, like this and this color actually this color and making those things into like white or gray type and taking an artboard which is 2000 pixel you can link it up and then make this one uh, 2000 pixel so hit ok and sending this layer into the back side and giving the dark type color like this and now I'll change up the color um, like this yeah that's good and now um, I want to add some uh, things like um, Photo. So from Unsplash, uh, I got some this type of camera photo I'm copying or you can download this photo like this and going here and pasting this one that's fine and now crop image I'll crop it out from here and here and like this and apply okay now I could blend it out like multiply actually uh, overlay that's good and I'll send it to the downside of the logo yeah that's good and I could make the opposite down of the photo okay that is make sense okay here some lorem if some text into the middle and the white color that's good making those things into the normalized font and deleting the areas okay changing this one into light and changing into the downside yeah that's fine you could make this one into bigger so selecting all the stuffs making this one bigger like this so our logo is ready now so hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video is someone signing out stay safe stay healthy keep in your prayers bye bye